Good morning. Here we are on a Friday morning. This is David Richard Allen, Balancing the Triad, Body, Mind, and Spirit. So what are we doing? We are taking the idea of you want to work on your health and wellness. Let's give you some tips to get started there. And initially, body, mind, and spirit is means we're going to go deeper. And in that fact, we're going to be a transformation. So if you just kind of follow me. We've, uh, what I've done is I kind of pieced together work on my body, mind, and spirit over the years. Out of your interest, and it's helped me out in a number of situations. Um, I was involved in a pretty major accident just before my senior year of high school, part of physical conditioning, and I think my grandfather was watching out for me. Well, I walked away from it. Uh, for the most part of my adult life, I've slept, well, I don't say adult life, but a good portion of it. Um, I have energy to go throughout the day. I sleep almost through the night. I got to the point in the last uh, eight to ten years or so, something like that. Yeah, give or take. Not too much phases me. I get to go through calm. And I found a real benefit of working on my health and wellness, my body, mind, spirit, is uh, at the time of this recording, uh, not quite three years ago, I went in for a simple biopsy for a tumor in my sinus. I wanted to wake up, have some complications, wake up nice next day. A bunch of tubes coming out. My reaction was okay. It's like, okay, kind of basically was like a no big deal. A couple of days in the hospital. Went back the following week, got a cancer diagnosis. I was okay with that. Complications again. So at least one night in the hospital this time, a week later, and uh, eight-hour surgery. And I handled all with kind of grace and ease. I kind of handled easily. And that let me know the true importance of working on your health and wellness, your body, mind, spirit, because it makes life so much easier on many different levels. So that is what I am sharing with you. So today's topic... Kind of take a look at your health and wellness, your, your health and your wellness overall. Do you like it? Do you like where you're at? And if not, are you willing to do something about it? Any more so than that, are you actually willing to do something about it? Um, just kind of break that down a little bit. First, you got to realize health. It's not most, a lot of times when people think of health, they think just physical health. That's part of it, but you got to realize there's also mental health and spiritual health. And for a number of people, that spiritual health might be the missing element. And it doesn't have to be religion. For some people, it is. But for a lot of people, it's not. And each of these is going to be individualized. What is spiritual health to me? The things I do might not necessarily mean what you do. But they do kind of, they all blend in together. They all work together. So if you take a look at your health in any of those levels, you take a look at your weight. I always say inches is better because the scale lies all the time. But you know, just regardless, if you want to lose some weight, you don't like where you're at, you don't like how your clothes fit, uh, you don't have the strength you want, you maybe don't have the flexibility, you have difficulty playing with your kids or grandkids. Uh, maybe you're a diabetic, you get to work on your health a little better. Um, mental health, if you realize you're constantly negative, are you looking at excuse me, the bad part of things? Are you looking for the class that's always has half empty versus half full versus, hey, it's refillable? Do you have a lot of you lost connection with yourself or people around you? Whatever it is, you got to take a look at that and realize, okay, where am I at? And this is something I've mentioned more than once in different videos, but it's something that always needs to be talked about again and again. You take a look at where you're at. Appreciate where you're at. And run those also understand that all the decisions you made prior to this, everything has led you up to the point you are right now, for better or for worse. But you appreciate where you're at because, hey, you're realizing I'm understanding where I'm at. I'm acknowledging I'm at this place. And then you can make a change if you choose to. And it has to be a decision. And it has to be one that you want to do. Because if you're doing it for someone else, that may get you going for a little while. But not necessarily. For some people it can. But not necessarily. If you're not doing it for yourself, you're going to trail off. You're going to hate doing what you're doing. And you're going to do it for yourself. And you're going to have to have something that drives you to keep on going to do it. When things get a little challenging. So you find out where you're at and then realize, okay, do I like where I'm at? So if the answer is no, do you want to do something about it? That's the main thing. Just like um, there's people that you can, there's a variety of different techniques, uh, natural techniques that can help people say quit smoking. I get some energy work techniques is the same thing. However, if they don't want to, it's pretty much not going to do any good. Same thing for you. If you <clears throat> don't like where you're at in your health, but... You're not willing to do anything, but you don't want to do anything right now. It's like, yeah, I know I could lose 20, 50 pounds. I could lose some inches. I need to drop my, I got high blood pressure, but you know, I don't like it. <clears throat> but if you don't want to do anything, it's not going to do any good. 
So if the answer is yes, you do want to do something. But the next step, are you actually willing to? Are you going to? That's the other part of it. You can say, yeah, I do want to do something. Okay, do you want some exercise? Yeah, yeah no. <clears throat> do you want to do something about lowering your blood pressure? Yeah. Do you want to change your eating habits? Yeah, not really. You can see the, the differences there. You got to be ready. You got to be willing. I've talked about this in previous videos as well. Probably talked about all this more than previous videos. Take a look at where you're at. If you don't like it, are you willing to change? Do something about it. And so are you, are you ready to? Are you willing to? And then from there, one of the things we talk about big time here in Bounce and Try it is those baby steps. If you want to get a more exercise, you're not for sure what to do yet. Yet. Keyword is yet. Well, can you at least <clears throat> get more physical activity in? Which means those are the times where you park your vehicle a little farther away. You take the stairs versus the elevator or escalator. Um, I even had some things here where if I'm starting to use a cup of coffee or something or heating something up. I might do it in the kitchen. I come walk back to the office with their side of the house. Then I walk back there and do something. And I, that's just a simple way to get more physical activity. You can walk around the house. You can walk around the block. If you want to start new nutrition, okay, maybe cut out the sweet treat. Grab yourself some water instead of a soft drink. If you're working on being a more positive mindset, at least be aware of when you're being negative. What triggered you? Was it someone cut you off in traffic? Was it an email? You better be aware of that stuff. If you're working on maybe doing meditation so you can get internal peace here and here. Okay, you don't know how to meditate. You tried meditation before. Well, there's always ways to do it. But take a moment and just do one conscientious deep breath using your diaphragm, your stomach breathing. That's a place to start. So it can be a very simple process and easy to incorporate into your life. <clears throat> Is it a little, I don't want to say better, but can you get more benefits from scheduling a full 20 minutes, 30 minutes of meditation, getting a 30 minutes or more of exercise? Absolutely. But yet if you don't have that, you start and do what you can. And that's the biggest thing about it is just as I've, the last couple of videos I've talked about is do something. Get yourself going and just start there and do something. All right. So enjoy your Friday and uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know your thoughts about how you've dealt, either you are or you have done in the past, or maybe you're going to, what you're like, your health and wellness. We're talking about physical, mental, and spiritual. And then if you want to make some changes, but did you? And what were the benefits for that? All right, so enjoy your day. We'll catch you next time and balance it to you.